guys, Big Ben Motor Vlogs here. How is everybody doing? Ooh. Today, um, I got a vlog request off uh, one of my subscribers uh, who said, uh, talk about sports bikes, V naked bikes. But I'm guessing when he says sports bikes, he means fed. I'm guessing. Uh, so, yeah, so. No, yeah, I'm guessing he just wants my opinions on what the what like, the main differences, main advantages, disadvantages with having a fed, maybe over a naked or a naked over a fed. And uh, the only I've always had naked bikes. Um, obviously scooters. I don't know. But are they classed? And they're classed as fed. I'm guessing because you don't really see the engine of a um, of a scooter that often. As most of them are just encased. Uh, but screens wise, I had a screen on my, not my, uh, not even my previous bike, not even the previous scooter before that one. But um, I had it on my Honda, I think it was a Honda Pantheon, and it was a, um, and it was a, a big screen on it. It was quite nice actually, it was nice to have a screen on it. Do you do it? But it was quite nice to have a screen there because uh, I do obviously like I like going far I don't you know I don't like just having a, a five minute drive no I like to go quite a few different places and I do I don't always go along the quick roads now like today now I could have just taken the main A road from Flanethy into Swansea and it would have been done but no <laughs> I went through uh, where did I go through Binia up across Lacher um, down into Gowerton, around that way, and now I'm here, just outside of Swansea. So I don't really, <laughs> I don't really uh, normally take roads, so I don't really have a problem with wind in my face, because that's why everybody kind of, kind of says why a fed is normally better over a naked, especially if you are thinking of doing touring around, <laughs> around Europe or just generally on the motorway a lot so you don't normally see a great deal of naked bikes on motorways or even you know I'm do I'm going to uh, I'm, I'm going to France on my bike you never see a naked bike because <laughs> if you're doing if you go in quick all day uh, if you go in 80 odd mile an hour all day you're gonna feel the effects uh, on your neck definitely feel your effects on the neck because the wind is constantly pushing back against you but you, know, you can actually to be honest you now get over that problem with having a a screen on your naked bike you know I, a screen for this bike you know if I wanted to I may get it once I pass my uh, test um, I may get one for this bike just so I can see what like motorways and stuff is like. Um, and they're about fifty pound, fifty quid, just to put a screen on the front of the bike, which is not too bad, really. Now the one big, really disadvantage that I can see um, over having a fed bike over a naked bike, if you're not the most uh, <laughs> careful of uh, a person, then obviously things like scratching the fairings. Or even if the bike falls, the cost of those fairings, you know, they're not cheap at all. You know, even if I wanted to place like the tank on this, you know, people are putting these tanks up on eBay for probably some sort of silly amount. Uh, they're like 200 odd quid, I think. Somebody put a somebody put a tank up for, and you just say, uh, it's a tank. <laughs> they're plastic tanks no wonder this obviously is the proper tank but because uh, I've got a tank bag in the house that sticks to metal problem is this isn't metal it's plastic so uh, you know those are all plastics you know the plastics are on the side here so to be honest if this bike falls over the only thing really that's going to be hit first are the pegs and the indicators normally if a fed bike falls over then your fairings are gone <laughs> Uh, 
That's not normally going to happen. So that's one thing that I can see because it's going to be costly repairing those uh, repairing those fairings. Hello. That's very nice. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think, you know, the fairings are going to be a disadvantage to a, to a fared bike, to be honest. The other thing with the fared bike is that, obviously, it's a bigger bike. So, a bigger bike, you know, means that I couldn't technically get a fared bike at the moment. Because it won't fit where I go. But if I get a naked version of it, it will. So that's also a pretty good thing to uh, keep in mind if you are go going to go for a bike is that if you think oh fed bike you know that's a good idea but it's not really because they are actually quite a bit bigger than um, than your standard naked bike quickly fit in this gap it's always i guess down here enough space for all of us <laughs> normally like super bikes and everything like that are fed anyway but for example now, that MT, uh, MT-10 that's going to come out, uh, it's literally an R1, a naked R1, which is going to be awesome. Um, naked R1 is going to be epic. <laughs> to be honest, what I prefer, you know, I, I, I prefer naked bikes because they are smaller, they're lighter, uh, and they're just well, they're easier to manoeuvre, I guess. Uh, you know, because the third version of this bike is um, is the YZFR125. That's the third version of this bike. Once I get my full license, I'll probably have a bit of uh, a play around with both bike, with both versions of bikes. Uh, but at the moment, like I said, I, to be honest, only have space for a. Uh, I only have space for a naked bike anyway, getting a full fed bike at the moment. Just not possible. I could have I could have one, but then I just <laughs> the plastics be scratched a bit. And again, anyway guys, what uh, what are your thoughts? I'm not sure if it's gonna be a vlog, I don't have a clue. I don't even know if it's gonna <laughs> gonna have enough to put it all together. Uh, <laughs> but what do you guys think? Prefer what do you prefer? Naked or fed? And uh, if, you do, if you have any topics that you want me to have a chat about, let me know and um, I'll make a vlog and share my opinions about it. So thank you very much for watching guys, I will catch you very soon, uh, bye bye guys, bye bye bye.